Hello everyone, I'm back today with another video. This is going to be a ranked game against this player here. They have over 8,000 games, 649 ELO. So I'm going to go ahead and use the setup that I usually use for 600 or 700 ELO gameplay. And so hopefully this goes well, and according to plan, we can chalk up another game in the win column. Currently I am on a win streak of three games after I lost four in a row. Um, so I'll have to obviously win a quite a bit more in order to regain the points that I lost. But hopefully we can start doing that uh, this game here. So he's going to advance in the center first. Usually I'll try to mix it up with exactly what I do with this setup. So this for this game I'll go ahead and advance on the left. I'm just going to maintain a position in the center there. The marshal, I don't want it to be discovered easily, so usually I'll do something like this. That way he just has to go through more pieces in order to advance in the center. But overall, I think the center is pretty well fortified. But I'm going to go ahead and bring up the colonel, and we'll advance on the right as well. That way we'll have a balanced attack going here. He's only advanced in the center. He's not even touched the sides yet. Alright, so I'm going to keep advancing. I'll probably do a, um, a domino attack on the sides and just, I mean, my advances are pretty, um, pretty uniform here. Against lower level players, I usually will do Captain Colonel a lot. I find it's a really uh, convenient combo because I can always trade off and just have a fairly valuable piece. I feel like Colonels are probably the most versatile piece. They're kind of like a power piece, but also they're not a piece that I feel bad about giving up for info. So I'm going to go ahead and attack here, and then we will see what happens. So I have a lieutenant there, so of course I'll move up with this captain. Uh, let's go ahead and scout the piece next to it, and a sergeant. So that makes me want to hit that sergeant with my lieutenant, um, because he has a lieutenant guarding it, of course. So actually, I'm going to come up with a major, in case he has a captain behind um, this sergeant here. Because that way I can just take it with a major and not a colonel. Alright, so let's go ahead and attack here and see what we can get done. So I'll take off that known sergeant. He might trade. Interesting. So he wants me to attack down with that move. So let's do this instead. Take that out. Let's get some info here. I do have a cluster of pieces here. Uh, this could get a little tricky if he, say, comes out with like a marshal and starts blitzing or something like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I don't think, I don't think he'll take that. Okay, so this move was to just keep him there. Um, he'll probably take me out. I'm sure. Right, marshal. So obviously now I'm forced to attack. This is surely a bomb. Oh, Colonel. Okay. That's not bad at all then. Okay, very good. So I'm surprised he actually didn't hit that. He must have been scared for, like, my general to come down or something along those lines. Um, but of course, I will be happy blitzing in the center now. Uh, we'll see if we can get anything off of all these pieces that he has. Probably will die there. Colonel, wow. Okay, um... Interesting, alright. Let's go ahead and threaten him. He'll obviously run that colonel. Okay, he just killed his colonel. I have no idea what the point of that was. Um, I guess he couldn't save his colonel regardless, but I don't know what that move was. Um, so, note to this guy, uh, if you're going to have your marshal in an aggressive position and feel okay about advancing it, or uh, threatening 
um, and taking pieces with it, then I would, um, I would, you know, have your kernel in a better position, like not a position where it can just die really quickly. Uh, fairly sure that's moved. Okay, interesting. Uh, I don't really feel bad about that because I'm already up a kernel. Um, but, okay, yeah, so I guess he had nothing for that kernel, so he just tucked it in. So we know his marshal, we know his colonel, and he's got a bomb here, which is interesting. And like I said, I have no problems losing my general to that. Was fairly sure that it moved, but, you know, that's okay. Um, but I'm up that general, um, or down that general, up that major, and I have good info on him. Um, at any rate, his general will surely be on this side somewhere, and I'll take that miner out just to get info. And, of course, you know, taking miners with sergeants is good if you're up two sergeants. So I'll take that out. Of course, we still know his marshal, we know his um, colonel here. Let's see if he gives me info or not. Oh, okay, that works. Uh, let's do a little bit of blitzing on this side. I'm expecting to find more bombs, um, but I don't think I'll find a general over here. So I'll probably be aggressive with my colonel. Okay, um, this could be a dead captain, but we'll check it. Okay, that is the general. All right, so that's good That's good info to find then. I have kind of complete info on this guy then. Uh, bomb there, good to know. So we know his marshal, we know his um, colonel there. Of course, I'll take this piece with my colonel. Let's do that. Let's see what he does. I'll probably back it with the general, I would assume. Yeah. All right, so we can advance in the center with our majors because we know his general, marshal, and colonel, so I can do that. And note to self, this is a bomb. I love to forget, like, front row bombs that are just sitting there, so don't forget it. Remember it. Um, let's do that. Just to kind of be annoying, I guess. The one thing I don't like is that he has, like, five scouts left. Um, that's kind of troubling, but I do like my stats down here. Don't like this as much. I'm going to want to get some of those back. Uh, just leave that there. I just like for him to waste a scout like that. And then preferably if we trade now, that would be great. Uh, but I don't know if he'll oblige me. He might just advance with the marshal. Okay, very good. It's not in his advantage to trade because that's his unknown major and my, you know, known major. Um... But, okay, might as well scout that. Miner, okay. So, makes me think the spy might be somewhere around here. But let me come up with a... I'll retreat with the colonel. I don't want it to be discovered by garbage yet. Um, but we know his general, we know his marshal, we know his colonel. Let's do that. So we know his marshal, general, colonel. Two front row bombs we know, so he's probably rather susceptible to lotto. Of course, that's already moved um, as well. I wonder if it would be used... I mean, maybe that's the spy. What do you think? No, that might be the spy. I'm trying to think. Because I could just come up with a marshal and blitz him and take all this if that's not his spy. And two squares general. Uh, I believe I could kill it, actually, if... His spy wasn't over here. Interesting. All right, let's come up. Let's see. Does he does he remember this captain? I think he's discovered it. Interesting. Um, this is the marshal here. I'll take this piece if he gives me, uh, or if he trades majors for it. Okay, let's do that. Take that out. And then I'll probably blitz with my colonel here. Okay. 
Hmm, it's a bit unfortunate. Um, hmm, it's not the best scenario, but I'll blitz with my colonel now. I was hoping that would be a major to trade. But I guess we'll have to settle for doing this here. Maybe he'll forget that this is moved and he'll give it to me for free or something like that. Okay, um, I'll hit this. Minor, okay. Lieutenant, okay. Now I feel like this colonel's gonna die, which, you know, isn't too great. Bomb, hmm. Okay. We're not looking too good at the moment. Um, I didn't realize that I wasn't... I thought I would still be up a major. I thought I was up two of them. But now that I lost that colonel, uh, I don't know if I could really afford that. Let's come up with this marshal. I'm gonna have to get, like, a major back or something. I'll leave that there. Okay, well, that's good. Um, if he keeps wasting miners, I might have a shot. Take that. Right, figured that. I'll take that with my captain. Yeah, I figured that. Um, next time, he'll bring down another captain, and I'll probably want to take that piece. Alright, I kind of had to do that because now I'm only down um, two pieces, but let's do this and kind of be annoying. Mm, you know what I should have done is I should have moved over. Let's see if I can do it still. Alright, this I'll pretend to be the spy, and then I might be able to make a dash for what I think could be a flag. Because he won't move here. Let's see, that's his general. Okay. Alright, so this is probably a captain. I want to... Okay, I'm gonna let him waste that. Right. That's obvious, I think. And I'm not sure what this piece would be. So let's, uh, let's... Let's do that. See what he does. Could be another scout. Uh, he might just be trying to ward me off from the flag. Interesting. Well, I'll make a dash for it, although based on the way he's defending, I'm thinking the flag's over here. Oh, 
All right, well, it looks like he had a scout there. Um, all right, well, I will take that. Uh, I didn't play too well. I, I got messed up with the graveyards, and I thought I was up more than I was. That's why I kind of lotted with the um, colonel. But you know what? I'll take that. Uh, I figured that was another scout based on the way he was acting. Um, and actually, if he brought another piece over to support, then I would have blitzed before he could do that, as you can see I did here. Uh, but yeah, I'll take that win. Um, good win. Um, kind of an ugly win. Not really my best gameplay, but I'll take it. So, GG. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys in the next video.